Hello friends, this is a video that's going to talk you through how to solve our first little mystery for today called clue number five. And this is a clue number five of about ten different clues where we're trying to find the murderer. It's a murder mystery. Woohoo! So here's our goal is we need to figure out what letters are we going to put into this table of values here. And where did these come from? Well, let's look at the table underneath it. Do you see that we have numbers going left and right? and we have numbers going up and down. What we can do is if we take numbers and sort of match them up, like if I take a six from this row and match it up with a three from this column, if I bring these two together like that, then my answer would be a letter E. All right, so if I know that my numbers that I need are six and three, I can get the letter E. Now the interesting thing about this is what if I switch the numbers order? What if I did the three from the row and the six from the column. What would happen if I met those together? Look what I got. I still get an E. So in a good way, as you search for these letters and number values, it doesn't matter which order that you go. All right, let's figure out how we're gonna do this. So on the top, what you're gonna do is look at the number that's inside the box. And you're gonna think about what are two numbers that multiply to make 36? And there's so many different choices, right? Well, as long as it's the right answer, they'll all work. I'm going to take, say, for example, how about 36 is how about 9 times 4. Okay, so now go down to your table. And again, like we said, you can do the 9 along the row here and the 4 along the column or vice versa. It still works out. So I'll take 9 over there and 4 over there and let's see where they meet up. There we go. They meet up on an M. Okay, so I know that my first letter I'm going to write in there is an M. And in this game, the M stands for the word murderer. So the murderer is something, something, something. Okay, so what's the murderer doing? Let's try one more. I'll let you free to try the rest. How about 21? Can you think of two numbers that multiply to give you 21? Yeah, I'm going to pick 7 and 3. But I'm going to actually switch now. I'm going to do the 3. How about here on the row? And I'll do the 7 over here. And again, it doesn't matter the order. You'll still get the same letter either way. All right, 7 and 3 gives me a D. So in that box, M, D. And I think it's going to be like the word M does or does something. So D stands for does as you keep going. All right, so there you go, friends. Just keep going. Pick a number and think of two numbers to multiply to get it. Go down to your chart on the bottom, find the letters, and you'll get the clue. Good luck.